Alice Sycamore, happy Monday, and welcome back from spring break. Today is March 27th, 2023, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Sam. And hello, I'm Becky. Yeah, spring break was amazing. We're so excited to be here with you on daily video announcements. Now let's please stand, place our hand over our heart, and let's honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all and please be seated. Remember, check your work and school emails throughout the day for this final quarter of the year. And be PBIS responsible young adults. Be safe, be respectful, and be positive problem solvers. Flexbell is participating in Noam and Danny's Pencil Bouncing Challenge. The March Madness is in full swing and be ready to bounce those pencils and report your numbers. Yes, it's time to mark and check your calendars for our school events. Show your support for the Major League Baseball's opening day this Thursday. Wear your favorite team gear this Thursday, March 30th, to show support for your favorite baseball team. Go Cincinnati Reds! Yes, wear your favorite Major League Baseball team jersey Thursday and collect those pop tabs to report this first round of totals this Wednesday by 3 p.m. Welcome to the final quarter ever in this old building, and air testing is quickly approaching in a couple of weeks. Our first testing week will begin the week of April 11th with our ELA air testing on April 11th and 12th. Now we have today's Women History Month star. We're learning about Florence Nightingale. Florence Nightingale was a British nurse born in Florence, Italy, who shaped the way modern nursing is today. Her strong beliefs in sanitation as well as compassion for wounded soldiers during the Crimean War was what set her apart from the others. Wow, thank you. Next up, did you know? Did you know in a group of 23 people, there's a 50% chance that two will share the same birthday? Really? That means I have a birthday with someone else. Twins! <laughs> Next up, National, National Day! Day. Today is National Scribble Day? National Scribble Day is the day that began as a nod to the children's book written by Albert called I'm Not Just a Scribble. The theme of this cute book, which was published in 2017, is that art can become any form and anyone can be encouraged to be an artist. Hmm, very interesting. Well, any of us can be artists. Scribble on a piece of paper and I guess we can call that art. Next up, let's hear... Birthdays! We have a lot of birthdays today. Over the break, we had a whole lot of birthdays. Happy birthday to Micah G, Kiran M, Farkud Z, Alexa C, Emily P, Nyla C, Anna R, Barrett B, Maria T, Reese G, Sarah F, Ethan R, John B, Sean J, Gray W, Madhu K, Alexandra M, Amari J, Addison H, Colin Z, Audrey D, Lamise A, Owen T, and staff members Miss Milligan, Miss Morris, Miss Stephanie, Miss Kennedy, Miss Lindsay, Miss Schaff, Miss Conrad, and for today's birthdays after that long list of spring break birthdays, happy birthday to Naomi E, Lauren P, Aiden H, and Robert R. Hope all who celebrated over the break had a great birthday, and those celebrating today have a wonderful birthday. Now over to some special clubs and activity announcements. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. All right, congratulations needs to go out to the Sycamore Elite Singers who traveled to New York last week to perform at Carnegie Hall. The students also were adjudicated by a series of judges, okay, at Queens College in New York and received a 93 out of 100 for superior rating. So congratulations to all those students who traveled. Special congratulations out to Mrs. Savage, um, Mrs. Stein, and Mr. Callahan for preparing the students for that thing. It was a great time. Students saw Ellis Island, took a trip, went to the top of uh, 30 Rocks, saw the Empire State Building. World Trade Center and a bunch of other things. So congratulations to all those students and their teacher chaperones for attending with that. Speaking of choir, tonight is the rescheduled Junior High Fine Arts Choir Concert. Uh, both concerts will be at times are 6.30 and 8.15. Alright, so you have to go. Those are up at the high school. Remember where you're supposed to go and all that other stuff. But tonight, Junior High Fine Arts Choir Concerts at 6.30 and 8.15. 
That's it for me. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Now it's time for the joke of the day. What kind of jewelry do rabbits wear? I don't know. What type? 14 karat gold. <laughs> I get it. He must have really liked his carrots. <laughs> Be extraordinary, Sycamore, and follow PBIS expectations every day. Have a wonderful week, and go Waves! Hi, I'm Sam. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Deanna. And I'm Vector. Quick announcement about the new segment, Cheesy Challenges, that's coming up soon. So here's the deal on the basic idea. Friday the 31st, we'll have a raffle during lunch. You have to pay eight tickets to enter and can only win once. But there will be four winners per category, so make sure you and your friends enter the raffle. The challenges we have are ring on the pole, whatever you can make from Miss Jarvis's room, which is exactly what it sounds like, guess that song, headphone lip reading, and SJH Family Feud. Winners will be selected to participate and be recorded for the announcements. It's going to be awesome. Information about the prizes are coming up soon. Please, please, please make sure you bring your tickets to lunch. We'll only be having the raffle on one day, so you have no other way to participate if you don't bring them for that particular day. You'll be submitting your tickets that day, but the picking of the winners will be recorded and uploaded on the daily video announcements. That's right. According to who's picked, we'll send you an information email regarding what time you'll meet us, rules, regulations, how to play the game, and other details, including prizes. If you don't win, me, Vector, Diana, or Caitlin will meet with you to dispose of your tickets. It's going to be an awesome experience and a great ending for the fourth quarter. So that's about it, right guys? Yep. yep. Bye! Bye.